going on guys stay tuned to the end of the episode for a new segment called Soulsborn battle to the death i'm going to randomly pick two Soulsborn bosses from this video generator that i created and then i'm going to determine who would beat the other i say determine i'm not doing any research or anything i'm not going to look on the wiki and say oh this one's weak to fire no i'm just going to look at them and decide which one would beat the other but stay tuned to the end of the episode for that hello everybody welcome back to the no estus run of dark souls 3 you can see as you can see i am no longer in the kiln of the first flame if that's what it's called that i already screwed up oh well uh, i am somewhere else right now i have decided that i am going to go into some dlc which i said i didn't want to do in the uh was it last episode or the one before i'm not sure the newest episode I've edited hasn't gone up yet, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure if it's this one or the one before, but obviously this is a new recording session, and I did that recording session like three weeks ago, so um, I can't exactly remember, but there are a couple reasons why I decided to do this. Um, first being, see, here we go. Goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Slave Nightgale. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk to Gale. If he ever stops weeping, stop weeping. What are you crying about? Here we Wait. go. You've, you've the same scent as that woman. <gasps> what then woman? You must be an action one. You must be. Oh. <laughs> you don't know how long I've searched. Oh. It's true. I don't know how long you searched. Stop crying. Oh wow, messages suddenly appeared. Don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Kindness asks you, lives in the cold land of Ariandel. Need you to show her flame. Pop her flame. Sure, I accept. Here we go. Anyway, I um never mind. Apparently Gail never stops talking. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you're gonna do it. Yep, you're gonna do it. Well, I... I hit accept, so of course he was going to do it. Old Juniper there. I love that I named him Juniper. The ashes were too... What is he playing at? Anyway, I, um... Among the reasons I decided to do this, to go into the DLC and extend this a little further, I'm pretty sure I said in the last episode that I, I wasn't ready for this to end. Um, I beat the Nameless King quicker than I expected, and then I ended up, you know, I didn't know what else to do, so I started fighting Soul Cinder. Um, but yeah, I'm not ready for this to end, so I figured I might as well voyage into the DLC. And also, since I've started doing, um, oh, hi dude. Uh, Soulsborn, uh, Battle to the Death, which you can, there'll be another one at the end of this episode, by the way, if you didn't already see the promo at the beginning. Um, I felt it'd be kind of silly to end this Dark Souls 3 journey and still do that, even though I could do it at the end of any episode I want to do it on, but, you know, whatever. So here we are. We're going to explore the DLC. Well, you guys are going to explore the DLC. I've already been here before. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, yes. Talk. Yes, I did. It is unusual. I got sucked into a painting. It's very unusual. Uh, okay. Sweet, sickly, rotting bed to lie upon, whatever he says. It's very weird. All right. Okay, here we go. Into a winter wonderland. Just like upstate New York is right now. <laughs> we didn't get snow for the first couple months of winter. Now it's February and we're getting like backlogged all the snow that we didn't get in the beginning. It's been kind of ridiculous. Actually, we haven't gotten snow in like a week or so, but or any major snowfall. But all right, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Completely forgot. Oh, thanks for locking on, dickhead. Stupid game. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're in the face. Oh, feels good to be back. Anyway, I'm recording late on a Friday night, which is very unusual for me. I usually record on, like, Monday or Tuesday morning, whatever, usually when I have it off. But I haven't had it off lately because uh, Rachel, my best friend, went into the management training program at our work. Spin move! <laughs> oh, that felt good. This is going to get... Oh, Jesus. This is going to get bad real quick. I never changed my rings. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. You know what? I'm done with you. Screw you. Put that fire back in your mouth. Oh, shit. Here it comes. Spin move. I got one of them. I'm not doing very well, though. Freaking stop! Ow, ow, I'm gonna die here. I almost always die here. This freaking part is ridiculous. Go away! Go away! I'm done talking! I don't want to talk anymore! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Spin move! Stand up, dead. <laughs> yep. Welcome to the painted world. Painted world of Ariandel. Yeah, it's a fun time. Anyway, my best best friend Rachel went to the management training program at work. What the hell? I don't think I've heard that before. <laughs> that was very weird. All right, I'm gonna go up this way and get some of them from behind. Actually, I'll just deal with this dude because he stood up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. There we go. Um. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, 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 brother. Oh. Oh. Uh. All right. Um. Anyway, again, <laughs> my best friend Rachel went to the management training program. So, um, I got called up to work on days. Which has been pretty cool. I enjoy doing that. I've done it before. Um, people generally ask me whether I like days or nights better. It's two different dynamics. I like them both. Um, although it's been nice with you know having to drive Aiden to school in the morning to be able to go to bed at a reasonable hour. That's been kind of cool. Uh, uh. Oh, that's a creature right there. Although I don't think that one actually comes to life, but we'll see some of that later. Hi, buddy. Oh, man, I missed. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I cut a very intimidating figure when I run in there and jump and I miss. <laughs> What's up, brah? Nope. Whoa. You didn't like that very much. So yeah, I, I was actually going to record late tomorrow night, which would be Saturday night. Um, and I might still do that. But um, I, um, some of you know I'm a wrestling fan. This is the Friday where The Rock came back and basically stole Cody Rhodes' spot at WrestleMania. And I'm a fan of the Solid Monster. He's a podcaster. Talks about wrestling. And... Um, he went on this pretty epic rant, which I pretty much agree with him with on everything. Did I have an item on him? No, he didn't. Um, 
Anyway, I never do this, but I was fighting with somebody in the chat. <laughs> he was just pissing me off. He was actually talking about, I'm just trying to be positive. He's being negative about or complaining, whatever. He was just being a total dick. And I had put up a super chat that said something about The Rock stealing Cody's spot at WrestleMania. And, um, oh, we got wolves. Here we go. Um, and he started coming back at me, and I started going back at him, and a couple other people joined my side, because I'm a pretty prominent member in that chat, and I never fight with anybody. And then finally, I guess he went too far, and one of the mods kicked him out. So, that was pretty cool. So, I'm a little hyped up right now. I'm a little hyped up, a little bit moody, so I figured right now would be a good time to record. I saw you. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. I'm out of stamina. Too many wolves, and there's going to be a really big one pretty soon. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Doggies. Doggies. I am a friend to doggies. I'm a friend to doggos. I am friend to doggos. Aiden calls them doggos. Makes me laugh. What are you doing? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Time to go for it. Spin move. Oh, got one of them. I'm going to die out here too. Yep. 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 Sure am. E oh, got another one. Oh. oh shit. I thought someone was coming for me. There it is. <laughs> there it is. See, I'm not as familiar with the DLC as I am the entire rest of the game, which is why I've been able to beat it without leveling up and without healing. But, um, yeah. Not as familiar with the DLCs. Obviously, I've gone through them a few times, but not that many times. You guys are starting to piss me off. Bim ooh, ooh, got one. I was hoping to get more than one, but it didn't work that way. Oh, God, I wasn't even locked on. I just did a spin move in the wrong direction. Oh, my God, that's how my whole day is gone. Oh, got one. Go away. Oh, God, one of those trees came to life. Oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, triple kill, but I'm also... Oh, no, it was a double kill, but I'm also dead. <laughs> Actually, I might have to whip out the claymore. I might have better luck with that. All right. I have gone back to my old faithful, the claymore. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because windshield wipers. <laughs> there we go. Jesus. There we go. Hi, guys. Oh, look out. Spin move. <laughs> now I can do it whenever I want. Oh, shit. Ow. There you go. Windshield wipers. Takes down two more. The sweeping motions in like these Dark Souls games like this. Oh, Jesus. Are so handy. In situations like this. Yeah. Ha ha, look at that. And with nary a sweat drawn by me. Yeah, see that big wolf up there? I'll be tangling with him very shortly. Ah, does feel good though. Spin move. Ha ha. All right. Are you going to come alive on me? Probably at some point. There's another one. Did I come up here for any good reason? Hi, guys. I see you. Uh. Shit. Shit. Whoa, you tried to grab me, didn't you? Uh. Shit. Ouch. I'll screw you and your shield. Stop cheating. Uh-oh. Ow. This is not good. I almost fell off that cliff. Nope. Get out of there. Big move. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, sc oh, screw you. Oh, God. I didn't get my souls back. Oh, well. Whatever. Whatever. This is going to be a real pain in the ass. Oh, ho -ho. that was nice. That was nice. I don't think I'm even going to go up there. You know what? I don't think there's anything up there that I need or that I want. That it freaking matters. Oh, sh Ugh. shoot, shoot, shoot. Sugar, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nope. Nope. Pick another line of work. You're not needed here. Okay. Here we go. See that little item that's being used as bait? Yep. <laughs> to bait me right into this guy. Oh, Jesus. Where are you? No. No, no, no. That's sloppy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, was, I thought he was going for a second one. I know, isn't he beautiful, though? Ooh. Whoa, boy, that would have done a number on me. Ow. Oh, come on. Come on, what did you do? Get me with your rib cage? I don't think so. Dick. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I just got freaking massacred. Oh, my God. Jesus. What do I look like? Kibble to you? Uh, uh. Screw you, you stupid dogs. Stupid wolves. Uh, uh, windshield wipers. <laughs> oh, oh. Can you imagine someone just yelling that in a fight? Windshield wiper. <laughs> Spin move, baby. Two for one. Oh, shit. I forgot about the step, brother. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, shut up. Whoa, nice jump back. You did another one that was completely unnecessary. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, now I have nothing left to fight this giant-ass wolf with. Ah, but whatever. Who needs health, right? It's just Dark Souls. Come on. Yeah, come on. Bring your little sibling or whatever. I'm dead. <sighs> you know, I am holding a shield. I could probably use it. Although it wouldn't help me with like four or five of them around me, but whatever. <laughs> Fuck. What a fail. Ow, ow. Who got him? Totally blind swing. Jesus Christ. Shut up. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. Oh, I thought I was dead. I will be shortly, but... Uh, uh, I'm going down swinging. But I'm definitely going down. <laughs> dead. <sighs> this is not good. I'm, I am not good at this part. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just not. Beating this game without leveling up. I'm about to beat it without healing, but I can't beat these goddamn wolves. Ooh, I think I killed one without getting the other's attention, but I don't know if this big dude's howl over here is going to just bring every single one of them down on me. If it does, I'm just going to run past this part again, because screw this, it's stupid. <laughs> Come on. 
I see you. Oh, uh oh, ow. All right, got one down. Oh, come on. Let me. Oh, stabbed him. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck you. Spin move. Oh, I missed him. I'm dead. <sighs> Dude, I'm all I'm trying to do is boop your snoot. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't know why you got to be <laughs> such a dick about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Look, I'm really sorry to do this. I don't generally do this. I try to kill every enemy at least once. But this area is complete and total nonsense. This area is complete and total nonsense. And I'm sorry, but I have a show to do. <laughs> and I am just leaving. Pretty sure I did this last time, too. And I was. I, did I say this already? I can't even remember. Wasn't even a no healing run or no SS run or, or no level up run or anything like that. It was just a regular run. But I was like, this area is just total bullshit. Look at another giant wolf. Yeah. Ooh. Goodbye. There we go. Now I'm in the next area. <laughs> you can literally run through this whole game. Well, most of the game. But, obviously, you won't have the souls to level up and be able to fight the bosses you need to fight. So, you know. Or you can just be like me and not level up at all. But <laughs> Alright. There is a bonfire in... Here. Here we go. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just not doing that for multiple episodes, which is probably what it would have been if I had continued to fight them all. People already don't like it when I, uh, I'm fighting a boss, and, like, I'm on the third episode of fighting a boss. Like, people don't even watch, which I, I, I guess I don't blame them. So, it's a... It's a learning experience. Oh, look. This tree's gonna come alive. Stop it. Get your nasty breath away from me. I know that's not Mentos. Here, you have this. Mmm, 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 mmm. There we go. Dead. Oh, here we go. This is. Oh, wait, hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I don't want your sweet huggies. Stop it. That is the bad touch. Get away from me. There's another one up there, too, doing their shit. Here. Mmm. And one for you. Mmm. Mmm. Assholes. Yep, foreshadowing things to come right here. These fucking nasty ass bugs. Oh, you didn't turn around, huh? Well, then I guess you would spin move I missed. What a failure I am. <laughs> what a complete and total failure. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, what? Another wolf. Fucking stop. Err. Uh, uh thing is you're beautiful too and I don't want to hurt you but if you're going to be assholes about it I don't know if I have to be up here for any reason either fucking stop here try one of those mmm mmm my stamina back stop it here we go missed Oh, God. Gotta get out of the way. Mmm. Oh, God. Another wolf. I think this just goes right back to where I was. Like, I'm not in the mood. I want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is, because I said accept, and then I touched the painting. And here I am. Now... 
Hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna heal real quick. But not Estes heal. We are gonna meet one of the coolest and most frustrating bosses in the entire game, although we're not gonna fight her right now. Sister Frida. Forgot this dude's name, but his voice is awesome though. You look to be unkindled. No bell tolls. And yet you've slipped into the painting. Oh, no matter. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. Okay. There she is. She is so freaking cool. I mean, she's no fun to fight at all, but she's just complete and total badass. Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. I am Frida. I have long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. But forlorn thou seemeth not, ashen one. I know not the missteps which led thee to this painted world. But thy duty is all, and thy duty lieth elsewhere. Return from whence thou camest. I presume it visible to thee, the bonfire here in this room. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. Ah, yes. There is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess. Ours is a chance encounter, to be sure. But perhaps it was meant to be. Let this be a remembrance of this cold world. A thing to help thee bear thy duty. I love her voice, too. Now. So good. Return from whence thou camest. Thou'st a place in that world, and that alone is cause to rejoice. Return from whence thou camest, for that is thy place of belonging. That's what she says when she kills you. All right, it is once again time for Soulsborn Battle to the Death. We will pick two Soulsborn bosses at random, and then we will determine which one would win, or at least in my opinion, anyway. All right, so contestant number one is the Taurus Demon. From Dark Souls 1. He's a toughie. He's a toughie. I had trouble with him and I watched a lot of other YouTubers have trouble with him. Mostly due to the tight space, I think. But yeah. Taurus Demon's a formidable boss, I would say. Alright. The Taurus Demon. Seen a lot of YouTubers do that one, actually. With some uh, interesting results, shall we say. <laughs> Alright, the Taurus Demon is going to face in a battle to the death. Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. That is certainly an interesting matchup. Um... I can't see uh I can't see the Taurus demon pulling that one out. I just can't. I think Rykard has too many tricks up his sleeve. So yeah, that's my opinion on that one, but feel feel free to share yours in the comments. I would be very interested to hear what you guys think. So yeah, Taurus Demon versus Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy from Elden Ring. And there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go to the outro. All right. I am going to end this episode here. Um, we're in the painted world of Ariandel. Not a fun place to be sure. Uh, you can go to robertblanchardbooks.com if you're interested in my books. You can read the first three chapters of each book there for free. If you'd like to hear more about them, you can listen to the Rise of Dragons podcast, wherever you find your favorite podcast. Like and subscribe, too, and all that nonsense, uh, if you choose to do so, if you believe that I've earned it. 
Uh, you can go to my link tree at Bobby's World 2110 and check out all my links. There's a link there for each of my books and my author page on Facebook. And the Facebook page for my YouTube channel is where I generally post new videos. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bobby's World 2110 and look at lots of pictures of my cats. And that's pretty much going to do it. So until next time, be well, stay safe. Uh, have an amazing day, week, month. And as always, it's Bobby's world. Excuse me. And you're all just living in it. See you see for life, y'all. Bye. What's going on, guys? Thank you for checking out the video today. But I got a question for you. Did you know I wrote a book? Did you know I wrote three books? Did you know that they're all part of the same series? The Roar of a Dragon, The Treachery of a Weasel, and The Cry of a Raven. Readersfavorite.com says that its intensity rivals that of the Game of Thrones series. Now, I personally think that's crazy, but it's not for me to judge. It's for you to judge. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com and you can check out the books right now. But wait, that's not all. All three books got five-star reviews at readersfavorite.com. These books won the Silver Medal and the Literary Titan Awards. The Cry of a Raven won Silver at the Global Ebook Awards. So what are you waiting for? Read about Aiden's dream to become a Knight of Delmar. Read about his death and resurrection. Oops, I gave that away, didn't I? and read about his journey back home from 3,000 years in the future to stop the evil that started in Delmar. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com. You can read the first three chapters of each book there for free. And then, if you're interested, you can buy the books there as well. And if you've already read the books or you just want to hear more about them, you can check out the Rise of Dragons podcast. You can listen to it wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. And in every episode, I cover a character from the book, an event from the book, my journey into writing, and everything in between. Ripley, what do you got to say about all this? Give me a treat or I will end you. You know she's telling you to check out the books. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com to check out the books or listen to the Rise of Dragons podcast if you want to hear about them. That's all I got to say, and thank you for watching this video.